Hello, I am just going to explain what's happening in this video. Uh, I imported a sprite sheet directly into PD Howler and I was told by the developer that there's a way to process them into the animated brush without having to do that in an external program. So I used the image array to animated brush from the brush more menu. then it puts it directly in the animated brush for you. So that would be good if you didn't have a program that does that bit for you. Uh, there's ways to delete frames in this store brush menu. So that's another way to make the animated brush from the sprite sheet. Then I tried doing the hue, saturation and value adjustments from the store brush menu, uh, which was another comment given to me by the developer in a previous video. Um, so this way you can change the colours of the brush that you've got stored. So that's if you still want to use it as a colour brush, but you want to change the colour of it in a fairly easy way. That's also an option in this programme. And then there's a reset values button, which is always good. So that's that. I just thought I'd mention it. In this section, I decided to do it in another way the author of the program suggested, which was to go to the animation menu, then click array to animation for a sprite sheet. You have to get the uh, numbers right or it won't work. I think what confused me with this sprite sheet was that the uh, images were a bit elongated. So then that extracts all of the sprites and puts it into the timeline. So here in the timeline you can remove or add frames. So I decided to remove the ones that were blank.
So what I did here was hold down the Alt key with the custom brush tool, drag it over all of the uh, image. And then in the brush timeline, I can see that they've all been put into it, but this little transparency in the middle of the flame confused me a little bit, so They all seem to be there, they're all working. Then I tried the brush out and I saw that it still had the black background on it, which isn't really ideal. So I had seen um, a video where he did a colour key thing and, and removed the colour to make it transparent for this sort of thing. So I thought I'd try doing that in the colour key menu. and it applies it to all of the animated frames, so that's handy. So then the brush works fine. Um, I don't know why it showed up a bit weird in the animated timeline, but it seems to work perfectly fine. Then I decided to resample it because it's a little bit small, so I used the resample option to do 400 pixels. So I click the store brush option. I can see that all the keyframes are there in the, t the timeline here. And I was just uh, messing about with the hue saturation values here as well.
Thanks for watching.